right so um this is gonna be a blind playthrough of wing commander by origin systems so um i own a copy of wing commander although it's called new roman Conquest. um this is actually a uh, amiga version that i picked up um i never owned wing commander originally um i have it because i'm a obviously collector of origin uh games um oh. <laughs> never actually looked in here it looks like yeah uh, a pack of amiga uh disc labels sealed in here nice so yeah uh, i owned a commodore 64 uh as a kid from 1982 uh, when I was born the first computer I used was Commodore 64 we actually had that all the way up until I still got it but that was my computer up until 1993 4 because we didn't have a PC um, early 90s my dad used to bring a PC home from work on a weekend uh, from the job that he worked at and then uh around 94 95 we uh eventually got a a pc uh 486 um and i did actually have some games because i would buy them in order to play them on the weekend so um i specifically remember getting um Ultima 7, Ultima Underworld, Bioforge, um, those Origin games, and didn't even have a PC, uh, but then when I got one, obviously had those. However, despite being an Ultima fan since Ultima 3, Wing Commander is a IP from Origin that I've never played. I'm aware of it, I'm aware of the other games and kind of what the plot is. Uh, but I have never actually played it. So today, I'm going to start that journey. Now, I have been setting this up in order to use Munt for the Roland MT32 emulation. So I have loaded this up. I haven't yet tested the joystick because that would have been a really clever thing to do, wouldn't it? Um, but hopefully we should have sound and yeah we got sound let's see what happens It's now very quiet. Seems to be running okay. Right. Thank you. 
So you'll see quite a few names that you recognize. This guy, probably. Or Inspector. Um, this uses the Origin FX system. Um, which I don't actually own a copy of because it's mega expensive. But. You can get the origin screensaver. Right, so that is the intro that's on a loop. <laughs> okay, so whoa, that is <laughs> That is quick. Might have to use the mouse. Right, so now I've done this already. It puts you into like a simulator thing in a bar. For some reason, I blow up immediately every single time, and I don't know why. So, let's see what happens. That's literally as far as I've gone with the game, just to prove it works. So, um, I might have to play with the CPU cycles and stuff, because I'm running it on DOSBox. Um, I have done some tweaks, which um, I followed from a YouTube video, which I'll put in the comments below, which... Um, allowed me to set up the MT32 emulation, uh, alter the cycles, change it to OpenGL, um, and various other things um, to make it a bit more playable um, on a modern system because like a lot of DOS games it is um, processor dependent on how fast it runs and obviously a really fast processor it will be unplayable. So um, that's us. <laughs> see what happens don't even know how controllable this is gonna be yeah I don't know if that's supposed to happen but uh, well let's just put Slagno for everything Okay, I don't know if that's ever explained or what, because I know you can click on here, select enemy, whatever that is. Okay, let's just try and... Okay, so the joystick's not too bad. I am, however, trying to twist the throttle because I'm using my Hotus X that I normally use for Elite really Dangerous. Okay, so there we go. You can just hold the button down. So, I don't know what any of the keys are or anything. Which probably would have been a good idea to look up. Okay, I, I actually wanted to just test the joystick with this. Oh. I don't. Did I change weapons somehow? There we go. Anyway, that's me dead. So, 
we might have to uh oh what's going on number one okay uh ah, sick alien nice and suit tech from uh ultima nice okay so uh let's actually just have a look in the manual see what the joystick setup is above the tiger's claw all right after a few seconds the words game over appear right so you are supposed to die now this is the amiga booklet but it should be hopefully similar please note the wing commander is not compatible with screen savers well let's have a look so talk to the barman shot glass belly on up friend and take a load off you know, just like that I'm shot glass welcome aboard the claw used to be a pilot myself till the flea bag shot me up so bad I couldn't fly there's a flu most every pilot on the claw so if you want to know more about one pilot or another Oh, how one pilot or another flies, old shot glass is the guy to ask. Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more. Am I not off duty now because I'm in a fucking bar? Okay. Paladin. Oh god. Oh laddie. Take a seat. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Take a seat and tilt the glass with old paladin. Got one when I was just a lieutenant like yourself there. We were flying patrol over a call the fourth planet of the Alliance system. Vokarathi Slathy came zooming in with the sun at their backs. What's the point, monsieur? There is one. We leading up to it. Last that day we learned that the no, Southie will always turn to the left. It's got something to do with the way their engines and ducts are arranged, so when you tail the Southie, watch to the left. That's where he'll go when he makes his break. Okay. Everyone's going to sound Yorkshire, by the way. Bonjour, Lieutenant. <laughs> you are called Slagno, no? I'm called Angel. I'm just reviewing some figures on our recent encounters with the Kilrathi. You'd like to know what I've learned, perhaps? The Drouthi is the Kilrathi fighter seen most in this sector. These figures show that 1.4 missiles, 1.4 missiles, are required to destroy the Drouthi, while over seven direct laser hits are necessary to destroy the same vessel. This information is useful to you, Lieutenant. Mm, yeah. Pilot scores. I have nothing. There's nothing on TV. The, the mouse cursor is very slow and then it's not. So, okay, we'll go here. Barracks. Okay. Status doesn't do anything. Uh, view your medals. It's a bit like uh, Star Wars X-Wing. Second Lieutenant Slegnor, aka Slegnor. In your system. Date line 2654.110. The 110th day of 2654? Could we not just say April anymore? If the 110th day is in April, I'll be quite impressed, actually. Okay, so let's view your medals. Save this campaign. Well, let's, yeah, let's save it. Uh, one. In imaginative name there. Exit to DOS. No. Mission hangar. Mission bucket. Save this campaign. So this is literally your save screen. An exit screen. Okay, mission hangar. I literally don't know what I'm doing, so this should be good. Mission briefing in your system. Oh, 600 hours. Missed it. We got. Oh! Dagger squad dropped from trips for. Uh, Blue Devil Squadron of the first patrol. You kill the bees of the next shift. Okay, now. Your workers will be flying with experienced pilots on your first missions. <laughs> oh, this one takes time. On the rookies to fly as wing leaders. Your vets keep an eye on the kids out there. Here are the assignments. Slegnor, you're leading Alpha Wing. Of course. 
Spirit will fly on your wing. She's quiet, but she knows the ropes. Everyone else is zombies, apparently. You're the wing leader, but if Spirit talks, you be sure and listen. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. Here's your patrol plan, then. Computer display alpha. You check three possible jump points. About twenty thousand clicks out. There are asteroids near enough points two and three, so stay on course. Any questions? Okay, so we've got nav point one, nav point two, nav point three, and back. Yes, Commander. What do we do if we encounter the enemy? Engage if the odds look good. Let Snugdoll make the call. Fuck, we're dead. We're all dead. Next is Beta Wing. Your thoughts wander as the commander makes the rest of the assignments and back to the Tiger Squad. Remember, this is no train team. If you see the enemy, he'll be out to kill you. Be sure you, be sure you do something. Dismissed. Be sure you do it to them before they do it to you or something. Maybe. I missed it. Then we sit on this screen for ages. Killer bees. Okay. There's my wingman. Right, let's have a look at these controls. I have to turn that back on. Da -da -da -da. Dis D. Display damage. Well, that works. Communication. Never mind, that works. Eject. Select ship's gun type. G. We've only got laser cannon. Oh, no, I've done something. <laughs> right, select navigation. There we go. Proceed to nav point one. Okay, so. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Does that take me now point one autopilot? Excuse me, Commander, I've noticed enemy ships. So you have. Uh, target. Why are you not targeting? There we go. Keep trying to twist the throttle. Here we go. Pew pew. Oh shit. Oh, I've got a lock. What do I do? Just dodge. Right, do I tell it to do something? Break an attack. I assume, well, I'm saying I assume we can't hit each other. Yeah. I respectfully request that you attack the enemy. Uh, how many have you killed, love? My god. I literally can't tell what I need to do. Ooh. Fight like a stillborn kitten. Oh, just killed your mates. And apparently, I can't hit you at point blank range. Were all of them dead?
Okay. Com video on select missile type. Oh, I do have missiles. But how do you fire your missiles then? Fire selected guns. Fire selected missile on mine, it says not possible. Joystick button held and up. What? Okay, so views. Oh, we've got different views, alright. No. Oh. Doing too well here. Okay. Increase speed. Ah. Plus or minus, yeah, should have figured that one out. Roll. Oh, we've got roll on there. Afterburners. Oh, okay. I selected guns, fire missiles on mine. Need lock. Right, okay. I don't think there's anywhere to do that on the joystick. Yeah, it says not possible for a lot of these. So, I could use my stream deck, couldn't I? It's something to set up later on. Yeah, I think I'll do that and have it on on there. Right, so, nav. New objective is going to be nav 2. Oh, is it not? Are we not at nav 1? Autopilot. Uh, because there was ships there, I didn't actually check. Uh, yes, right, so, nav 2. Auto. Asteroids. How do I get out of here? There. Okay, so. Ah, so we have to fly through. That's what I could do with a roll, really. What is the ejector button, by the way? Shift F10. I don't think that's going to be right for a PC. I don't know if I can be hit by... Ah! What did I just say? I literally looked down... Literally look down to look at the command list. And then I died. Thanks a lot. You'll be missed, but forgotten. Well, <clears throat> and that's the end of Wing Commander. Thanks for watching. might reload that save <laughs> D 
distant future. You died because you weren't paying attention. Okay, right. So that will be the end of this episode. Um, oh, look. Someone's asleep. Awaken. Awaken 1. Yes. Oh, there you save slots. I see. Right. That will be the end of episode 1. So, <laughs> let's not die next time.